Today I have a classic album review that is celebrating its 45th anniversary. The album is From the Inside by Alice Cooper, released on November 17th, 1978 by Warner Brothers Records. It's a concept album about Cooper's stay in a New York asylum due to his alcoholism. Each of the characters in the songs was based on actual people Cooper met in the asylum. The band they used for this album were basically all former members of Elton John's band. Uh, we have lyricist uh, Bernie Taupin, guitarist uh, Davy Johnstone, and bassist uh, Dean Murray. This is uh, my favorite album from the late 70s period of Alice. After the Alice Cooper band broke up, he went solo and released uh, Welcome to My Nightmare in 1975. After that, he released a few other albums that were okay but not great. Alice Cooper Goes to Hell and Lace and Whiskey were two from the 70s. Uh, they were good, but this is probably the best of uh, the 70s and his last great album. So this album was adapted into a comic book, Marvel premiere number 50. Uh, here are some images uh, from the comic. I'll just take a look real quick. And now let's talk about the album cover. One of the few albums that I do not have a physical copy of a uh, I actually need to get it because it's one of my favorite albums from Alice Cooper. The album cover is a gatefold with Alice Cooper's face in the front. It opens up into a triple page image of a lunatic asylum. In the top left corner is a door with a sign above that reads uh, The Quiet Room. This is a hidden flap that opens to reveal Alice Cooper sitting in a padded cell with a straight jacket and his feet. On the inside of the flap there's a message that reads uh, Inmates in Memory of Mooney. And that's a nod to Cooper's old drinking buddy, Keith Moon, who was the drummer for the rock band The Who. I recently did a video of uh, Who's Next, uh, which was the last album with Keith Moon. Uh, you can find that on my channel page. The picture of Cooper in the cell is printed on the inner sleeve along with the song lyrics. On the back of the album is a picture of, of the back of the asylum building with a uh, track listing on the double doors. And that opens up to show all the inmates... Uh, Stampeding down the corridor, waving papers in the air, stating that they were just released. Both the images I had hidden by flaps were uh, printed on the inner sleeve. Let's talk about the songs now. Uh, From the Inside is the opening track. In this song, he starts to tell a story about how alcohol played a part in his life and how he is in rehab. He's looking out. Uh, he's wondering where his makeup is. The song is a radio rocker. There are some elements of disco given the time that it came out. I think it's a great song because it still has some of that shock rock sound that Alice was known for in the 70s. Wish I Were Born in Beverly Hills sounds just like a Kiss song at first, but it's still classic Alice Cooper. The lyrics seem to describe a high-class woman who was in rehab with Alice, which is why he says that he wishes he were born in Beverly Hills. This is a great uh, rock and roll song, and it encapsulates uh, the sound of the late 70s. The Quiet Room is next, and this is a good song. He talks about being in a padded cell to keep him from hurting himself. This is one of his soft rock songs. Uh, this was not a hit single, but there will be another soft rock song that was big for him later on in this album. The lyrics are very deep. He talks about... Uh, Plastic spoons and no laces on his shoes. Uh, songs emotional as well as theatrical. It's a pretty good uh, deep cut on the album. Nurse Rosetta is one of my favorites from the album. This is a fun song. It has a hard rock and disco type of sound. The lyrics have a lot of innuendo where Alice is talking about uh, one of the nurses he had a big crush on. Uh, these might be some of his most uh, graphic lyrics and... That's kind of saying something about Alice. Uh, the song is also great. It still has its uh, classic sound. Millie and Billy is a duet with a female singer uh, named Marcy Levy. This one has a country rock sound, but it's still an Alice Cooper song. It's a song about a man and a woman who are in the asylum together, and they are in love. It's a very interesting twist on the classic uh, love song, especially the last part where... They allude to the fact that Millie uh, killed her ex-husband with an axe. The song has a lot of build-up and drama. Sirius is one of the hardest rockers that he has done up to that point. This one has a faster pace and a lot of energy. has a very uh, theatrical, hard rock sound. I would compare it to something from uh, Meatloaf's 
Bat Out of Hell. In the song, he is reminiscing on his bad habits of drinking and gambling. How You Gonna See Me Now was one of the hit singles. Back in the mid to late 70s, he had a series of uh, radio hits. Uh, they were all soft rock songs. This was one of his highest charting singles. Alice has not played the song live in a long time, since 1980. I guess he wants to kind of keep it in the past. I think it's very good. The song is about Alice reminiscing about how his love interest will see him when he finally gets out of rehab. It's a really good song, even if it sounds a little dated. For Veronica's sake is a hard rocker, and the song he's talking about his dog Veronica. Uh, she's being kept in the cage while Alice is in rehab. The song is about how he needs to get out and save his dog from being put to sleep. It's a very heartfelt song. When you read the lyrics, it's really good. It's also a very upbeat rock and roll song. Jackknife Johnny's about a war veteran who's locked up with Alice. It's another 70s style soft rock ballad. The lyrics are very well written because they talk about the struggles that uh, Jackknife Johnny is going through. The song has some hard rock elements as well as an electric guitar solo along with a progressive rock style of keyboards. Inmates, We're All Crazy, this is a very classic Alice Cooper sounding song. Has a haunted atmosphere mixed with his soft rock style. The song is very theatrical sounding and there are a lot of background vocals in. This has a very big production value and it closes the album very well. So that is all. Like I said, this is a classic album. Probably his last great album. Although I think he has a few uh, other really good ones that would be coming out after this. Uh, Check out my uh, updated ranking of all uh, 29 albums, including the new one, Road. Uh, please like this video. Helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Please subscribe to this channel, and I will see you in the next one.